As a member of a squad or team in a field environment, you will need to know how to orient a map in preparation for movement. For this task, you will have a 1 to 50,000 scale topographic map of the area and a compass. The first step for a navigator in the field is orienting the map. A map is oriented when it is in a horizontal position with its north and south corresponding to the north and south on the ground. When orienting a map with a compass, remember that the compass measures magnetic azimuths. Since the magnetic arrow points to magnetic north, pay special attention to the declination diagram. Special care should be taken when orienting your map with a compass. A small mistake can cause you to navigate in the wrong direction. Once the map is oriented, magnetic azimuths are determined using the compass. Do not move the map from its oriented position since any change in its position moves it out of line with magnetic north. You must determine the direction of the declination and its value from the declination diagram on the map. Lay the map in a horizontal position. There are two techniques that can be used to orient the map. For the first technique, take the straight edge on the left side of the compass and place it alongside the north-south grid line with the cover of the compass pointing toward the top of the map. This procedure places the fixed black index line of the compass parallel to the north-south grid lines of the map. Keep the compass aligned as instructed while rotating the map and compass together until the magnetic arrow is below the fixed black index line on the compass. At this time, the map is close to being oriented. Rotate the map and compass in the direction of the declination diagram. Next, verify the GM angle. If the magnetic north arrow on the map is to the left of the grid north, Check the compass reading to see if it equals the GM angle given in the declination diagram. If the magnetic north is to the right of grid north, check the compass reading to see if it equals 360 degrees minus the GM angle. If the GM angles are correct, the map is oriented. To orient a map using the second technique, begin by drawing a magnetic azimuth equal to the GM angle given in the declination diagram with the protractor using any north-south grid line on the map as a base. If the declination is westerly or to the left, the drawn line will equal 360 degrees minus the value of the GM angle. Align the straight edge on the left side of the compass alongside the drawn line on the map. Then rotate the map and compass until the magnetic arrow of the compass is below the fixed black index line. The map is now oriented. If the declination is easterly or to the right, the drawn line is equal to the value of the GM angle. Using one of these two simple techniques with a map and lensetic compass, you can easily orient a map in preparation for movement.